Bienvenue, Guten Tag, Sani Banani, and hello! Luke here with Frame by Frame for the new Scott Pilgrim vs. the World International trailer. Scott Pilgrims. Okay, so right off the bat, we're thrown into a practice session for Scott's band Sex Bobomb. On drums, Kim Pine, and on guitar, Steven Stills. The band is practicing in Steven's house, and if you notice above Scott's right shoulder, there's a flyer for one of the band's shows. Little life. Scott, if your life had a face, I would punch it. Yeah. Wait, what? He's arrived. Here we get our first full-on look at Knives Chow, Scott's girlfriend, before he starts dating Ramona. She appears to be wearing some sort of homemade sex bomb t-shirt. To her left is her best friend, Tamara Chen. My God. A slacker. The movie is chock full of scenes like this, cribbed directly from the comic. The moment here comes from Volume 2, and if you notice over Knives' shoulder, and on the post between her and Scott, there are posters for the band The Clash at Demon Head, led by another of Scott's exes, Natalie Envy Adams. This here is Scott's roommate, Wallace Wells. You can tell by the WW initials on all of his clothes. If you look closely, you can see that infamous poster of two girls in their underwear kissing on the wall. It is Scott's lone possession in the apartment. Uh, you know what? He just left. Really? Here's Sex Bobomb playing at Lee's Palace. Uh, this scene should be from when Scott's band opens for the Clash at Demon Head from the third volume of the comic. Mystery girl. You know this one girl with hair like this? Yes, that's Ramona Flowers. Somebody said she was gonna be here tonight, actually. And here's a shot framed exactly like it is in the comic. We'll make it. So this is a day, eh? Can I say day? It's the tongue. Tongue. Now a bit of an expanded fight sequence between Scott and Matthew Patel. I'm Ramona's first evil ex-boyfriend. Wait, we're fighting over Ramona? Didn't you get my email explaining the situation? I skimmed it. Mm -mm. What was all of that? Alright, so on the last frame by frame we did, uh, Edgar Wright actually challenged us to figure out what Lucas Lee movie the ad on the bus was for, and this time around we actually have an answer. The ad is for The Game Is Over 2. I have to admit though, I got that bit of info from an interview Mr. Wright did. Any day, you may have to defeat my seven Alexis. Here's a different bus with a different poster. This one is for Action Doctor, which sounds awesome, by the way. Next boyfriend, seven evil exes, yes. I'm talking to you, Scott Pilgrim! And I have to defeat your seven evil exes? Pretty much. What's up? How's life? He seems nice. Ah! Ooh. Ooh. And this is what I believe is our first look at subspace travel, a special ability Ramona has. Again, this shot is nearly identical to the panel from the comic. Then you have to let her know. Step up your game, Scott. Break out the L word. Lesbian? The other L word. Lesbians? What are you doing? Beneath the one up, we get a look at young Neil Nordegraf, Sex Bob-omb's number one fan and roommate of Steven Stills. Now something I didn't catch in the original trailer, but just notice here, are the outfits Sex bob are wearing. Uh, the sequence is a play on a scene from Volume 3, where Steven Stills is dressed as the Man in Black, Kim is dressed as a gothic Lolita, though you can't see her here, and Scott, who in the film has been replaced by young Neil, is simply a guy in a suit purchased at Value Village. We all have baggage. Well, my baggage doesn't try and kill me every five minutes. Scott now battling Roxanne Richter, and another scene shot virtually identically to the comic, this time from Volume 4. You punch me in the Prepare to die, obviously. This little girl is Trisha Ha, aka Trasha, the newly recruited drummer for Crash and the Boys, a rival band of Sex bob -omb. Kim hates her a lot. And here's Ramona flipping out of the way of an attack from Envy Adams at Lee's Palace. Mm -hmm. Why on earth would you want to do that? Because I'm in love with her. Alright, if you stop it here, you can see what looks like a dragon fighting some kind of blue monster. Uh, I have no idea what this is because this is clearly something from the Gideon Scott fight, which will probably take place at the end of the movie. And it looks like it might be their spirit animals, or uh, for all you Harry Potter fans, their Patronuses, or Patroni. A better look at Ramona's hammer, it's plus two against girls. Real quickly, you get a glimpse at Matthew Patel's special summon, a flock of winged demon ladies. Was epic. I just like you. And now a classic scene from Volume Three. Behind Todd, we get our first look at Envy Adams. She's pretty. Lady on Monday. What? Because you'll be dust by Monday. Um. Because you'll be pulverized in two seconds. And the cleaning lady? She cleans up dust. She dusts. 
Alright, so that should just about do it. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check back on GamerVision.com and TheQuarterBin.com for more frame-by-frames.